In this video, I'll show you how you can build a full-fledged 3D game using React.js and 3.js library without even writing a single line of code. Because honestly, I know React, but I'm not that good in 3.js. So I decided to take help of AI to build this game. Let's see how it goes. So click the link in the description down below and you will land on Rosebud AI. And this platform is getting super popular nowadays, whether it comes to building 3D games or 2D games or websites, you know, web apps, etc. You can see the community has made so many different types of game over here. You can go on and play these games or you can also click on remix button and you can improve these games, right? But we're not going to do any of that. We're going to start from absolute scratch. This is the space where we can write our idea. And as you can see, I've opened this notepad over here where I've written my idea what game I'm trying to build. So we're going to try to keep it very comprehensive. We're going to build a FPS game. The game will be called Urban Vanguard. We've provided the genre over here. The setting will be a sprawling modern metropolis experiencing a sudden and coordinated insurgent attack during a bustling weekend. We will try to, you know, add probably zombies or something like that. Now story is like our player is called Alex Mercer, an elite operative of Urban Vanguard and he will try to protect the city from the enemies, right? So I'm just going to copy this prompt and I'm going to go on over here and paste it right here. Now, if you're confused about your prompt, obviously you can just input your idea in something like chat GPT or Claude and get it more comprehensive, right? So, okay, let's go. And it will ask us to sign in. So let's just go on and sign in with Google. All right, we are authenticating and there we go. We have put our prompt right here and now Rosebud AI or Rosie is going to work on our game. By the way, Rosebud AI is absolutely free to get started, but you can get one month of unlimited usage when you enter coupon code Roadside Coder one during the checkout. Okay, now you can see it has started planning our game, a first person shooter with modern city environment and all of these different, different things that it has decided to build. Now you can see it has started writing code in React. It is creating different, different elements of our game. If you're interested, you can click on this code right over here. And you know, after this is done generating, we will check the code as well. But you can see it is defined in different, different states like health, ammo, max ammo, etc, etc, roll, reloading. And you can see it has imported three from 3JS as well. And it is creating our scene and different, different elements of our scene. Okay, so we have something over here. And let's check out the first version of our game. And according to that, we will keep on improving things, right? So if I click on begin mission, okay, so we can use WASD to move forward, left, right. That is fine. We have these enemies capsules over here, I believe. So these are coming towards the player. Let's see what happens when they touch me. Okay. Our health goes down. Okay. This is nice. The camera movement feels a little weird. So I'll try to fix this. And also, um, I want to shoot them as well. I think the shooting is a little bit weird. So, uh, you know what, let's just try to go on and improve this. I'm going to say, camera movement is not proper and there should be a crosshair to shoot enemies let's go okay so i'll implement a proper camera control system with centered crosshair for accurate shooting okay let's see what it does so as you can see it is using our windows inner width inner height and all to you know create that crosshair and meanwhile let's just go to our code tab and see you can see it has created different different parts of our game right here and looks like our game is done let's let's click on preview and i'm gonna click on begin mission and uh, okay so i think camera movement is a little bit better now but the crosshair issue is still not resolved i cannot see the cross here in the center and there should be a visible bullet that goes towards enemies when you shoot them let's go and see okay nice now we can see our crosshair is in the very center let's try to shoot these okay and we can see the bullet as well you can see the bullet is going towards the enemies and we can oh we can see the score as well going up no i don't think the score is working so let's just add this feature over here as well i'm gonna say make the score go up as I shoot enemies and press enter. Okay, looks like it's done. Let's click on begin mission. And if I shoot on this enemy, yes, it is increasing the score by 10. Let's shoot another one. Okay, nice. The score system is working and looks like it has given us the max score of 1000. 
let's uh, you know keep the maximum score of 500 instead of 1000 so i'm gonna say let's keep the max score to be or let's say 100 for now and yeah over here we can see let's implement a victory screen screen when a uh, when player reaches the maximum score of let's just copy the whole line so you can see it suggests us different improvements as well so let's just say 100 right and let's press enter and you can see it's making changes in this victory screen.jsx file and by the way you can see it's using the good practices of creating a context over here and looks like it's done let's try it out okay we are on 90 now again and the last one there you go oh nice mission complete and we can click on start new mission and the game will be restarted okay awesome let's go on into more advanced stuff now so we don't want these capsules as our enemy, right? And also this environment looks very plain. So we want to uh, update both of these things. So first of all, all we need to do is we need to go to this assets tab over here. So in the assets tab, you can come down to this drop down and click on 3D asset. And now let's say a uh, zombie, right? And press enter. And you can see it has started generating a zombie character for us. Okay, so it has generated this thing for us. You can see. Not bad. I tried generating it again and it gave me this. So yeah, both of them look pretty good, at least better than that capsule, right? And obviously, if you're wondering, yes, you can upload your own 3D assets as well by clicking on this upload asset button. And one of the very good website for this is this free3d.com. And over here, you can get a variety of different 3D models. Like if I say zombie, you can see we have different, different types of zombie models. Right, like for example, if you, we could have used this one as well inside of our project, right? So you can just click on download and download this and you know, import it inside of your Rosebud AI project. But let's just work with what we have generated over here. So now I'm gonna click on over here and you can see it has added this prompt, please add this to the scene. So I'm gonna say, please add this as an enemy and press enter. All right, there we go. There are our zombies. And there should be more than one, right? Oh, there we go. There are different, different types of zombies. Let's try shooting them. Okay, looks like we have some error over here, but no worries. We'll just allow AI to fix it. So I'm gonna click on fix it. Okay, looks like it has been fixed now. If I click on enemies and you can see there was a beautiful animation whenever an enemy is killed. Okay, plus 10 plus 10. This is really nice, you know. But again, we need to fix and make this game more pretty. So let's just add a prompt over here. Make the buildings prettier and press enter okay we can see it has improved the buildings over here but uh, let's just improve the ambience of the game as well so i'm gonna say make the game environment more prettier and we will use their own prompt as well add color variation to buildings to create more visually diverse visual diversity in the cityscape okay i'll put a comma over here and yes press enter let's see what it does and you know what, I think I would try to add roads and stuff over here as well so that it looks like an actual city, right? Okay, so we have different different color buildings over here. All right, so you know what, let's just um, give this the prompt. I'm just going to use their prompt like add sidewalks, roads and small environmental props to enhance the urban atmosphere. There should be buildings around the roads as well. Let's go. All right. So looks like there was some error and I just clicked on fix it and it fixed it as well. And let's check it out. So I'll click on begin mission and amazing. Look at this. Look at this environment. And <laughs> it took us such a little time to build this stuff, right? Let's try to kill these enemies. Let's shoot them. And awesome. This is such a beautiful game now. I would have never thought that I'll be able to make this game in such a less amount of time. And we're still not done. We will add more things to it. Let's go on and add the feature of power ups, right? So I'm going to say add power ups to the game. Let's see what it does. And I'm going to press enter. Okay. So looks like it has added these power ups. What happens if I take it? Ammo refilled. Okay. Nice. So I noticed that ammo is. Our ammo UI is also not uh, fixed, right? Like properly. Let's just check uh, this other one. So this is health restored. Okay, this is uh, pretty cool. What's that blue one? And after this, we will, uh, you know, fix our ammo issue as well. So if I take this blue one. Okay, so rapid fire has been activated. Okay, nice. This is awesome. Okay, let's just, just go on and fix our, uh, you know, ammo issue. Make sure the ammo is reduced when the player fires. 
Okay, looks like now the ammo issue is fixed as well. Great. Now, I guess the next features that we can add inside of this game is probably like a wave system where enemies comes towards me in a wave like different different levels of the enemies right so i would highly encourage you guys to go and remix my game or probably create your own game as well on rosebud ai and try to build your game and share them in the comments down below let's go on and publish this game and by the way one thing that i forgot to mention you can connect your project to the super base as well right you can use a database to store the player's progress inside this game right so whatever you can imagine you can build over here let's go on publish if i click on this publish button you can choose the preview image. Let's give the description. I'm going to say Van Urban Vanguard and I'm going to click on publish. And there we go. Our game has been published. Let's click on open and it should open in the full screen. Now let's go on and play it. If I click on begin mission. Okay, there we go. Let's see the enemies. I'm going to shoot them. Okay, 10 score. Let's go on and get the rapid fire. So rapid fire is activated. Where are the other enemies? There you go. Take that. Health restored. I didn't really need this. Okay, let's kill this person and no, sorry, not person, zombie. I'm gonna shoot this one, this one, and it looks like I'm about to win. Where are the others? There we go. There we go. Mission complete. Final score 100. You have successfully neutralized the thread and restored the peace in the city. Awesome. So if you want to build your own dream game, click the link in the description down below and check out Rosebud AI. Or if you want to play this game that we have built just now or you if you want to remix this game and you know improve this game as well i have added the link to this as well in the description below and if you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more such awesome ai related tutorials